Let's talk about nausea and vomiting in pregnancy. So let's do some good news, bad news. The bad news is nausea and vomiting is very common in the first trimester of pregnancy or the beginning third of pregnancy. The good news is it usually goes away by the end of the first trimester. Usually by 13, 14 weeks, you're gonna be feeling a whole lot better. Uh, the other good news is that for most people, it never gets beyond the sort of obnoxious point and it's, very, it's unlikely or very rare for it to get dangerous. We believe that nausea and vomiting is caused by your increased levels of HCG, which is the pregnancy hormone in your blood system. And that's why people that have nausea and vomiting honestly are less likely to miscarry than people that don't. Now, if you don't have nausea and vomiting, don't worry. It doesn't mean you're going to miscarry. You actually should be thankful for that. So don't look a gift horse in the mouth. But if you have nausea and vomiting, at least you can be reassured that means your baby is probably healthy. If you have nausea and vomiting, there's ways to treat that. The first is to try to change what you're doing a little bit. So instead of eating big meals, try to eat small amounts throughout the day. Most people find that if they can keep some food in their stomach, the nausea gets better. That's why people tend to have nausea worse in the morning because all night long they're not eating and they wake up with an empty stomach and it's very hard to get started. So I recommend putting some snacks at your bedside, maybe some soda crackers or some nuts or something that's easy to eat. If you get up in the middle of the night and you need to go to the bathroom or you just sort of wake up to, to turn over, eat a cracker real quick. That'll keep a little food in your stomach. I find that that can help quite a bit. The other thing is don't try to eat large meals. This is the wrong time to go to a buffet because you're not going to get your money's worth. Instead, eat small amounts and eat those throughout the day, keeping some food on your stomach. The other thing is liquids. It's very important to try and keep enough liquids down. If you get dehydrated, everything gets worse. There's no worse feeling than dehydration. And so you want to really work at those fluids. Get yourself some water or Gatorade or juice or whatever you like to drink and just sip on it all day long and try and keep the fluids going in your body. That will make you feel a whole lot better. Now, if these simple things don't work, there are other things that can be done. There's a medicine in particular called Zofran, which is very, very effective against nausea and vomiting. Fortunately, Zofan is now generic, which means it's pretty inexpensive. You know, not too long ago, just the last several years, Zofran was horrendously expensive. We used to really only be able to use it for cancer patients getting chemotherapy or somebody that was extremely sick from uh, vomiting in pregnancy uh, because it was so expensive insurance companies wouldn't approve it. But now, fortunately, it's generic and it's actually pretty cheap and it's pretty easy to get. It comes in different forms. There's a pill form. There's also a dissolving form that you can just put in your mouth if you can't swallow anything that will dissolve and get into your blood system that way. They also have an IV form that they can give uh, into your veins. The Zofran works very well at relieving nausea, and for most people, it doesn't make them sleepy. So that's one of the big benefits of this drug. It's very safe in pregnancy, so there's nothing to worry about. You want to give the Zofran a half an hour to 45 minutes to work. Once you're feeling better, take that advantage then to drink a lot of fluid and get some food in you. So that's the general nausea and vomiting. There are other things that people talk about. Um, there are ginger candies that some people swear by. There's these uh, magnetic bracelets that people talk about. Quite honestly, there's not a, whole, not a whole lot of science behind that. I mean, I'm not sure why wearing a magnet around your wrist should help your nausea and vomiting. It certainly isn't going to hurt you, and so if you want to try that, knock yourself out. Uh, but really, for most people, that's not going to help a whole lot. When nausea and vomiting gets really bad to the point where you can't keep food or drink down, uh, no matter what you do, that's called hyperemesis gravidarum. You know, hyper means a lot, emesis means vomiting, gravidarum is pregnancy. So it's a whole lot of vomiting in pregnancy. And that can be really severe. In some cases, we have to put in a long-lasting IV we call a pick line, and we can arrange for home health to come and help you to hang IV fluids or give yourself IV drugs uh, to keep the nausea and vomiting under control, or at least to keep you hydrated. In very, very extreme cases, and this is very rare, people have to be hospitalized and put on nutrition through their veins called TPN. Uh, this is uh, pretty difficult for you because you're in the hospital and there's some risk involved, but if we absolutely have to do that, that is sort of the bailout. So there's always treatment. Um, hopefully we can start with the light stuff and go to heavier stuff and again, for most people, by 13, 14 weeks, the nausea and vomiting is mostly gone. I always tell my patients, you know, it's not like you're going to wake up one day and boom, it's gone. What's going to happen is you're going to have some good days and some bad days. And as your pregnancy progresses, you're going to have more and more good days and less and less bad days. And you may only have, say, a hint of nausea in the morning instead of being throwing up all day long. So those are the things that you can kind of look forward to. And again, if you don't have nausea and vomiting, you should just be happy about that. Twice.com. <laughs>